Hey, it's Dave Perry. Welcome to Take 5 with Dave. I am with Steve Rusing, president of U.S. Sales for Temper Sealy International. Steve, you've got an exciting new line called Sealy Naturals. Tell me the story. Well, it's a great story. It is a responsibly sourced product using natural materials. We have 100% natural latex, 100% natural wool, and we have a blend of a organic cotton cover with soft hemp. And really, it's a marriage of the legendary quality of, of, of Sealy and responsibly sourced materials. You know, there's more talk in the industry about sustainability. Uh, do you see yourselves as a leader in that movement? Absolutely. Um, one of the main focuses of our company for, and, and for the senior executive team is ESG. And from an environmental standpoint, it's something we're very focused on. Uh, in fact, we invested $5 million last year in solar panels for our Albuquerque Tempur-Pedic plant. So it's a, it's a, it's a key initiative uh, for the company and something that uh, Scott Thompson, our CEO, is very focused on. All right. Price point wise, this line is at about 3,500. Uh, we were chatting earlier, you were saying that the pandemic really has got more focus on better sleep and people are investing in that. Yeah. Just kind of. Uh, well, it, it, there's, a, there's, a, there's a lot of focus on health and wellness. Um, and we see this as a change that obviously has is, is, is impacted the, the industry recently, but we see this as something that's going to impact the industry for years to come. And what we're seeing is more consumers uh, that are looking for a better night's sleep and they're willing to invest in it. And if you look at you know, the premium segment above $2,000 and you look at it from a unit perspective over the last five years, uh, that category has grown seven times faster than the industry as a whole. But really what the pandemic has done is really accelerated that focus and emphasis um, so it presents a tremendous opportunity for our retailers. Okay. Uh, naturals will hit retail floors when? This summer. Okay. Uh, and as you look at 2022, um, how uh, optimistic are you about the year? Well, you know, we're, we're very optimistic from a, from a temper Sealy standpoint, from an industry standpoint, what our expectation is. And I'm maybe a little afraid to use this word, but we're, we should get back to a normal, normal, normal growth rate. So, you know, and the industry's typically been in the single digits, mid-single mid digits in dollars and the percent in, you know, uh, units. But that means that we're going to also get back into the peaks and valleys between promotional and non-promotional periods. And we're also going to transition to more normalized seasonality. If you look at last year, it was somewhat of an abnormal seasonality. Um, just because of all the stimulus money and tax refunds that hit between January and April. So it's a, we're, we're gonna go through a transition period into to more of a, a normal business pace. I think the thing for, for our retailers to think about and be mindful of is because of demand and supply chain issues, uh, a lot of retailers pull back on their investment in advertising. Uh, if, you, if you take that same approach in 2022, uh, you'll be left on the sidelines. And at Temper Sealy, we're investing um, the highest amount we ever invested in, in to drive Tempur-Pedic uh, with our national advertising. It's a strong 52 weeks on, we're on every week. And then with Stearns and Foster, uh, we're increasing uh, our, our national TV spots um, 90% from 11 weeks to 21. And we believe uh, that when you look at Stearns and Foster and you compare it to the other brands in the industry, uh, it'll be in the top five in terms of investment in national advertising. Wow. You know, I like the way you gave a little subtle call out to retailers to say, you may have to have different behavior this year than last year. Uh, there, there, there's, no, there's no question. Yeah, I mean, I, I think we're, we have to get back to, you know, the fundamentals of blocking and tackling and demand creation. Yeah. Well, Steve, those are great insights. Really thank you for your time. This is uh, exciting what you're doing, and I uh, hope you have a great year. Thank you, Dave. Appreciate thank it. Thank you. All right, more Take Fives with Dave to come.